Hey, welcome. In this video, let's do something uh, really simple. Let's just make a ball bounce in Maya. Here I am in Maya 2020. So I'm going to grab my ball, drag it to the middle, and I have the uh, interactive creation uh, mode on. So I have to drag it in order to see it. I'm going to click on my uh, move tool, go to the top view, and because I manually dragged it, I actually have to make sure it's positioned right in the middle myself. So I, I'm holding down the X key and just kind of snapping it to the grid. Very nice. And if I press A by hovering inside each window, Maya will automatically zoom in on whatever you're looking at. So here's the view, um, all four views and next I would like to go to this view here hold down the uh, D key and then press X and just snap this to the bottom of my sphere all right so I have something like that now let's make this this thing bounce and I don't need 120 frames I'm gonna use 24 which is one second let's switch this to 24 and um, if you look on the right bottom right here, I have my auto keyframe toggle on. So I like to leave that on, which means every time you make a move, it will automatically set a keyframe for you. All right, so next let's press S on one, go to 24, press S, and you can see a red line appeared, which means a keyframe has been set. Then go to 12. And now because this is on, I can just simply drag this up and it will automatically create a keyframe. So if I press play, I have something like this, which doesn't look um, fun or uh, realistic at all. So let's adjust that. I'm gonna go to Windows, Animation, Graph Editor, and let's look at our graph. So this is what it looks like. All right, so on the left, let's just only select the uh, Y translate because that's the only thing I'm interested in modifying. So I can use my middle mouse button to kind of scroll in and out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this point and make it more like this. And do the same thing on this end. And now what I need to do is grab this point and let's move it up until this line is kind of flat. So you can see that also moves the ball up and down. So I can actually move the ball up and down by dragging this keyframe here. All right, and now if we press play, we can see a much more uh, realistic bounce. We have this flat line here, so the ball kind of suspended in the air for a little bit. And then when it comes down, because this is at such a um, different angle, it creates this gravity pull and it bounces back. So that's cool. I'm gonna close my graph editor. And now the only thing I'm gonna press A in these viewports. And now the only thing I would like to do is also, let's add, that, uh, add a little jelly bounce to it. So to do that, Let's go to this view. And what I would like to do is actually grab my scale tool and just scale this down. So as he hits the ground, he kind of squishes. And then as he leaves the ground, I would like to copy this frame, go to two and paste. And so on keyframe one and two, I still him, I want him to be in the same place and also on three. So first three frames, I don't want him leaving the ground. So he's just still right right now. So let's squish him on one and then on two, let's make him sort of normal. And I can see the Y scale right here. I can manually set this to one. So it's squished, normal, and then here, let's stretch him. So go way past the one. Maybe we'll do, uh, how about 1.5? All right, so we got squished, normal, stretched, and then he takes off. 
and let's see what that looks like in this viewport. Now that looks really cool. Let's do the same thing on this other side. So I'm going to select my bowl. And if you uh, hover over any viewport and press spacebar, it will actually zoom in or pull it up full window. Let's go to this frame. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to copy, paste, and paste. So now he's also standing still as he descends on the last three frames. So on this one, I want him squished. On this one, I want him full at one. And here, I want him at 1.5. And between 24 and 1, we could see that they're about the same. Okay, so let's press play. And now we have this really cool jelly bounce. Alright, so I hope you uh, had fun, and I'll see you next video.